session in the morning after the book. And it's standing room only. It's standing room only. Sorry, if you, so if you don't mind, I, I really I really feel that I must uh, I must get a record of this remarkable uh, this remarkable scene. Wow. Okay. Thank you. And then the 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 next point was going back to the, the whole premise of this session. The the idea that in, in twenty seventeen there was a perspective that commercial archaeology lacked innovation, to which commercial archaeology said, what? What nonsense is this? Of course we're being innovative, but then clearly the problem was that this message wasn't being heard, and it wasn't being perceived to be being innovative. And so then that means that there have, has been useful development, such as the innovation festivals and the sessions like this, and then the ways that, yes, commercial archaeology is being innovative, and it's good that we're able to be talking about it more clearly. So, onto, onto this presentation, jumping back to now the Nathan research, working on this project with uh, colleagues here. For those of you that saw Keith May speaking yesterday in the Foundations of Data session, he talked about this project from a different perspective. This is a project about uh, developing a manual of guides to good practice for archaeological post excavation, specifically good practice in specifically in stratigraphic analysis. So for this paper, this is a, a project where Keith May is the principal investigator, he was, he was responsible for giving that title that I stand up and talk to. Um, James James built the, the presentation and given the giving the presentation and one of the women that was in the room and was in the room and then he actually built the, the website and the handle for the handle. So the, if we start from a perspective that there is quite possibly a big gap, an ongoing gap in post ex skills and post ex skills development in training opportunities. Now, this is not, we are not generalizing that all of post ex here, we're thinking very specifically about analyzing the progressive and stratigraphic analysis that comes out of it. And that the, we feel that the that universities, weren't really teaching this very much. That the typically this is something that is learned informally and okay, like in all of our religion, and actually let's be honest, like in all of society, there is lots of experienced practitioners. At all times there is turn the old likes like me are moving and moving away from the new sense. So we recognize that there was an urgent need to think about structured post next training. And how, how could that be? How could we do this? Is this about again best practice guidelines, a handbook, MOOCs, uh, workshops, day schools, mentoring programs, apprenticeships, etc., etc.? Where it went to was we were then thinking about, well, it could be all of these things. And how could these things actually be done? And how could these actually be, be how could they be deployed in the commercial sector where the majority of our so thinking about this, is this actually about a need to develop tailored CPD programs within organizations, within um, Reconstruct, within Heaven, within Oxford Archaeology? Or is it about developing training days that will complement existing timelines? Or is it better about developing groups, much more different courses that multiple users could access simultaneously? And of course, it means that there should be collaboration with separate such as CSA, such as Bing, such as Apple, to make sure that these, these messages get out. This goes back to some of our queries the innovation. If, if there's innovation and it wasn't being seen, it's because we weren't talking about it. In higher education, this is a little bit different. Um, yes, there are some some places where things like this are being taught. It is being taught in Yale. It isn't being taught everywhere. Not, not everywhere. Teaching staff uh, knowledge and experience that the culture will te teach them about this, this kind of thing. And then a little bit of pushback. Students, let's just generalize. Students hate being provided with a generic block of learning from somewhere else. They think that they, they or their sponsors have paid good money for them to come to the, this, this University of Excellence and they want to be taught at the University of Excellence in the University of don't want to be told go off and look at this online course on this. However, they would like, they do like, I can't generalize all students, they do like that being taught something, but also being told, and here is some useful background material that's going to help 
So this leaves us with the, the where, where we are and how we are to go about. And then we have to be thinking about stratigraphic analysis as for, for me and, and people like me and my particular background the, the most interesting part of, of the exposition goes in. The, the, the thinking, the logic puzzle, the, the buying the quiz puzzle books at the train station to go through. This is what the, the, the fun and joy of stuff but that we have to be producing something that is going to balance both that theory and the practice of actually being able to do it, actually being able to, to prepare our standards and be able to interpret it, and being able to produce something that can then be reinterpreted by others, with making sure that the, the information we have is accessible and inclusive, and that it stays up to date and it stays relevant as we go forward. So, the project has created the It has been funded by the UKRI. It has been supported very much by, by the Scottish Government and by the 21st century uh, operating program. 21st century operating program. And it's about. Oh, I just jumped on to someone else's slide very, very quickly, so let's go back one. <laughs> so, I just wanted to, to make you. To, to let you know that this is something that uh, you may have heard please talk about yesterday before this one goes in there. Here's the route to the to the handbook on the website. Everything is there and the everything is there that we can still talk about and use and different people can use in different ways and different institutions can use in an educational facility. Okay. With that I will stop starting other people's slides and thank you.